Okay, next lobby. We're doing parrot chains only. So for everyone that hasn't played this before, the idea is you can't play anything at all until you have a parrot. Once you have a parrot, you are allowed one non-parrot on the team. And, uh, but yeah, then you can like buy as many parrots as you want. And the idea is you end up with one thing and up to four parrots behind it. Or, you know, anywhere. It doesn't have to be at the front. Uh, but yeah, other than that, all food allowed, slots are allowed, and anything goes in the shop phase. So, <laughs> good luck. Uh, it also means there's not really a lot to do right at the start. So I may like freeze two ducks and then... I'm not freezing this. I want to roll for a sloth. We're looking for a sloth. There were three sloths in the last game and I want one. <laughs> Alright, let's be the unintended pearls. Is nine chain possible? I doubt it. I, I think... I think the lion itself would work, but then the parrots wouldn't because they'd have a another tier 5 on the team, which is the original lion. Oh yeah, Robodog has set up another lobby. Wait, why is he not? Never mind, I don't know. <laughs> Robodog, you, you shout it out if it's ready. Alright. Uh, what was I going to look at then? So, what are the ideas for this? I'm probably not going to look, you know, freeze anything until I have my initial parrots, but... The typical things are normally like deer, crocodile, maybe leopard. But I think the last time we did this, someone actually won with a black cat. Like they had a single black cat and they used it to scale the parrots and then swapped like a lioness or something at the end. Or maybe they just kept it, I can't remember, but... Yeah. Anyway, show me a sloth. Alright, if I find another duck, I will freeze it, but... Yeah, I, I still wanted to roll for it. I didn't want to have my whole shop frozen for, like, four turns. <laughs> I just have, like, nothing to do. Does the parrot have to copy the other thing, or can it be parrot plus uncopyable? Uh, you can have any other thing, and it doesn't have to be in the first slot. So, like, if you want, you can have, like, a frontline, you know, assuming you have a parrot, you can have, like, a frontline parrot and then, you know, a backline duck or something. It doesn't matter. But, yeah, until you have a parrot, can't play anything else, and you can play at most one other thing. Are you the only one that thought Robot Dog was a bot? Can't blame you. <laughs> Damn, I wonder if he's getting a response ready for that. Oh, he did. He just is a bot. Fair enough. Okay, show me a duck. Because I'm going to need it now. Please, my combo. <gasps> I almost ended my turn early. <laughs> Alright, so next turn. It's going to be tier 3. So I can just like buy all my ducks and, uh, you know, hopefully get a parrot from the combo. Another thing you could do is, like, find three sheep, you know, combine those pillars, and then combine the rams again, but, you know, considering we're going for a tier four, there's not a lot of time to do it, because you'd have to find all those in, like, one turn. So, I'm just going for my duck gambit, and if that doesn't work, I'm probably just rolling for sloths again. Unless I get really lucky and find another combo that I can actually buy next turn. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Solid fight so far. <laughs> Alright, what have you got? It is a parrot! Early parrot pog. Okay, well, I'm not freezing a duck. Not a duck, an ant. Or any of this. I, I'm just not interested. Single parrot, I'm ready. Stream of luck, yeah it is. <laughs> I imagine I'm not the only one that got a parrot this turn. But, but damn, it feels good. I swear I'm never the one to get the early thing. It's been a while. Alright, so I need to find something. That won't do much. Camel chain might be okay for a turn, and then maybe I just like buy apples for this or something. Like I don't, I don't really want this, and I'd probably prefer to have like a dolphin. But what am I going to go against, right? Like there's gonna be nothing out here. And sure, salad ball just hit both then. Maybe this would have been fine. I don't know. Only two parrots last rounds. What? Oh god, I thought you meant you, like, found two parrots and were upset about it. But yeah, I guess you mean only two people had parrots. That's lower than I thought, actually. Alright, Pear, I do kind of want this. Ah, oh, freeze it. Turtle chain is interesting, but just hard roll for more parrots. Come on. No, I should have frozen that deer, honestly. <laughs> Definitely would have been better, but I really wanted another parrot. Okay. You had to get to one of the two parrots. Let's see. Also, only one person got a parrot after that initial turn, then. 
Because there were like three of us with parrots last turn. So I guess someone found us on like turn 8, whatever it was. Oh, well not turn 8, definitely. Still, another parrot, great. Okay, buy this first. I think I should probably buy the deer. So I am going to do that. And let's leave the pair. Another parrot, amazing. I really want to find a canned food, because then I can break up the attack of these and actually make it work. So something to be wary of here is that your parrots copy things based, like, you know, the order is based on their attack. So for it to actually chain down, you need your highest thing at the front, followed by, you know, gradually smaller things. Because if I put my to my 5 thing here and then 8-8 eight, eight at the back, then 8-8 uh, eight, eight would copy an empty parrot, and then the 5-5 five, five would copy this one, so, yeah. <laughs> parrot worm. It's actually quite a big worm, too. Okay, do I buy this right away? Uh, okay, you know what? Buy this, buy that. It didn't screw me over. Excellent. I do need to rearrange, but... Okay, another one of those. Do not need another deer. I could use it to level the deer, because it's good to stay on my team. But I think I'm going to try and find something else. Yeah, just, just send that. That's fine. And it chains down. It's always interesting seeing what people are going for, though. And yet, it's like, all oh, deers. Okay. I can't blame them, because I'm also going for a deer. I just want to live. I want to find... I want to find more parrots. I want to get them leveled up early, and then just buy tons of food. Pears and cans, all of it. If you had stats, what would you have? Not base stats, just in general. Like, in life? I don't know, that's too deep of a question. They wouldn't be good, though. I'd be the kind that has, like, far below average in most things, and then one, like, surprisingly okay one that doesn't actually save me from anything. <laughs> that would be me. Yeah, he's that again. Alright, I need to keep buying these, because I want to swap the deer out at some point. And I want to be able to just buy new parrots that be, you know, kind of large, so I can combine small ones into the big ones. And I definitely want to buy this cow, so... Yeah, next turn, buy can, buy sell cow... Probably pump the already largest one. Maybe this one, I don't know. I think this ends up getting combined into one of those at some point, but these two are probably staying separate forever. If we had cast cannon, I would, yes. And sap stats. Hmm. Well, I mean, I, I kind of have a bias here, but... <laughs> I, I feel like a tier 4. I would be a solid tier 4. Maybe, like, smaller than average, but, like, kind of cool ability. Does the other unit have to be first? No. So you can have, like, you can run it like this if you want. I just, like, run it like this because, you know, then it's actually <laughs> doing something. But again, if you do want to have, like, a black cat or any other random thing, then, yeah, you can do that. That's all fine. Yeah, both, both, both of those. These are fine. Sushi, like, I might waste some, but it's still at least a whatever it's called. Like a pair value, even if it hits the deer once. I don't know about these. I can maybe take a leopard, but then I'd probably lose to, like, deer teams. Uh, yeah, let's try it. Let's just get a let's get a leopard out here. It means I can start buying these stat foods and not have to worry about wasting it. And I'm probably not going to end up buying some other random thing just to get stats on these. I'm too afraid <laughs> it'll just like cost me all my HP. Oh, wait, that's kind of... It doesn't count to me, but, like, that was scary. Yep. <laughs> it was a clone as well, so, uh... They didn't even see the fight. Sad. Okay, sell deer. Oh, I can actually do this. Nice. It didn't even hit the cat. Perfect. Okay. Although, I have... I now have bad parrots. Ooh, do I put one, like, at the back just to guarantee that it works? Because if I get unlucky and this one triggers first, then neither of these will have an ability. If I get lucky, then this one triggers first and everything's fine, but... Mm. I think you stay. I don't think you're going anywhere. I'll work out if I want to do some other thing in a minute. Yeah, I don't trust it. Alright, <laughs> alright, I'm doing it this way. 
Definitely need to get some stats to guarantee it, though. I don't know if it does just, like, always work right to left if they have the same attack, though. Maybe I'm dumb and that actually is, would have been fine. Shame. Okay, if I had, like, one more attack on my backline, I think I would have been... One more HP, I mean. I think he would have been fine. Leveling this is excellent. And I'm buying this, which gives... Could potentially ruin it again. It didn't. Great. And a snail. Perfect. All right. Pizza, also very nice. Add this back to the chain. And go again, and we're a lot stronger this time. See what people are running then. A little leopard up here. Yeah, I can see hippos doing well. Same as the uh, the boar. Obviously, boar would be a little bit better because it's like later game, and it doesn't actually need to kill something to work. But yeah. This could be interesting. This could actually be really good against deer teams because buses do count as tier ones. So we get double damage against that. There is someone doing cat scaling. Yeah, crocodile is going to be a bit spooky too. Oh, similar team. They had more equipment than I did. But I had bigger things and more things. Dragon scaling. I mean, you could do. I would be too afraid to try that, I think. And yeah, so you need to get this, and I'm very afraid, because they're all, like, very... Oh, freeze it. Do it next turn. Right? If it hits this and not that, then it might screw up my order again. But at the same time, I don't want to roll three times for virtually no reason, so... Alright, save. <laughs> it didn't mess me up. I will freeze this, though. If I find more, like, sushi and pizzas, then... You know, cat's still a good choice. I might do it with pears, too, but... I don't know how good the the value is there. Shifted from dragon to leopard. Wait, can I see the dragon team? That's a different black cat, I think. Damn, all my guys are dying. I'm very sorry, I just murdered someone. Alright, you can stay frozen. You get leveled up, definitely. I freeze a mammoth, because if I find a pill, that's very nice. Instant pill, amazing. Probably going to leave the canned food now, because I doubt I'm ever combining any of these. So, like, a canned food would only affect one thing. Even if I was, you know, bothering with the, the cat. Let's leave that. I could have frozen the whatever it was called there, but I didn't trust it. Chances are I'm only going to get, like, two foods out of the cat, so I'd rather it be slightly better than just a pear and a salad, which might hit the cat anyway. At least the pear's guaranteed, but, yeah, I'd rather... I'd rather some of the late-game stuff. Sushi, pizza... If I can be blessed with one of those. Got hard baited with the level 2 cat early and got knocked out. Kind of makes sense. Like I said, the person that we, um, you know, when, last time we did this, the person that went for a black cat actually won. But I don't know if they started with like 5 HP and ended with 1 or something. Because it seems like such a throw until you have a massive team. Which obviously could uh, take a few turns. And hey, food. Alright, it hit it once. Uh, this is 4-4, four, four, so I can't throw it on there. I could throw it on there, but then it makes them all, like, really similar again. So I'm just going to make this one even larger, I think. Okay, that's amazing. I want melon. <laughs> I want more melons. I don't want steak. Steak doesn't help me. Like, I've been avoiding the chili as well, because I was like, oh, well, it's okay against bus teams, but it just makes it really bad against, um, you know, sniper teams. But, you know, same sort of reason why I don't want the steak, because I feel like very few people are going to be running massive teams. Rock, paper, scissors, deer, leopard, hippo, slash rhino. I feel like I'd be the most afraid if I was a hippo rhino team. I don't know, though. Actually, there's, there are a ton of deer teams out like, around. I feel like, in general, that's one of the weaker ones. Ooh. Ouch, okay. Oh! <gasps> Wait. Wait. I found one. I found a sloth. He's here! <laughs> My sloth! <laughs> okay. Blessed run. Do you like milk? I can't give him milk. These, these guys need milk. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the squad. It squeaks! I haven't heard the new sound before. Oh, he's so beautiful. 
That's amazing. <laughs> I'm so afraid. I feel like I'm gonna like die three times in a row now. Got a win now. He's, he's taking up one of my parrot slots. Although I haven't seen a parrot in like an insanely long time, so maybe I would have never found one. Maybe this is my lack of parrots or like coalescing into a miracle. No, don't hurt him. <laughs> Specifically targeting my sloth monsters. Yeah, I need uh, I need equipment though. I'm still buying this, but oh, <laughs> how many deer teams are there? Still a handful. I don't know if. Oh no, it can't be. All right, I'm still buying pizza. I'm gonna leave the garlic because I really do need to buy. <laughs> nah, nah. If I have to go down with this ship, I'm doing it. I'm not leaving two pizzas behind. You love the sloth, so do I. Oh, dude, wait, Squirrel is actually doing it. Look at this team, look at the stats. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, the scaling works. Melanon <laughs> Slothy needs protection. I, I think these guys need protection more. This is this my, like, crocodile buffer at the moment? I don't deserve him. I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> no. No, I'm just dying. I need one melon on the next roll. Ugh. Hit the sloth again so he's like slightly higher. No. Okay. Well, at least face danger at the front. <laughs> My new front runner. That's why he's solo in power chain, no way. Eh, not always. Like I said, it's very hard to do the pivot. And like, this person has... Oh, wait, that's not the team. This person has an amazing team, but they're on 1 HP. For all I know, they started with 5 and just like lost every round since then until they, you know, got to this stage. <laughs> Remember if you sub the chance of sloth living is higher? It's true. It's true. Don't forget to sub for the sloth. Please, just give him one round. Give him one win. That's all he needs. Just one. Oh my god, like every- oh, wait, oh. I mean, I think I'm okay anyway. Yeah, and that was someone with max HP. <laughs> Did I just like take down the winner? Like, I'm not leaving these. That's fine. I could stake, but I'm really afraid of it just getting sniped or something. Nah, I should probably buy it anyway, honestly. Let's just buy both of these. But these things need equipment with the melon. Where are my melons? Give him a steak. Yeah, he's got the steak now. Hopefully he won't get sniped by other stuff like this. Just got killed by a cat team. Or like the cat team or... Yeah, because like there's two of these now. Maybe three? I swear there was a different name that had a cat a couple of rounds ago, but maybe they died. How many people went for black cats? There's one there. There's a complete cheetah team there. Okay. Another one here. They go pretty big, actually. Only, like, one of them was massive, though. Wait, this could be okay. It looks okay. Come on. Come on, just get me a melon. Or, you know, three. <laughs> three melons. Yeah, we, we leave sat food. I can't win if I don't have melon. Okay, cool. I will freeze this pizza. Actually, maybe I shouldn't. That's two rolls I've been missing. Yeah, let's try and find another melon. I will buy another, another pizza if it shows up, but... Yeah. Alright, that did make me a lot stronger. Having one extra melon is very, very nice. <laughs> the person who knocks the slot out of the game. Damn, that'd be an interesting twist on the streams. Like, <laughs> banning people that beat me. I would throw if it's a 1v1 between us. Thank you. You know what? I'll take you up on that. We somehow end up in that situation. It's still going. It lives. How high are we? We're like top 10 to 15-ish. Roll. I do not need more steak. God, I could be buying food, but I can't even like level this thing. There we go. <laughs> Complain and you get what you need. Another parrot. Dude, it has been forever since I've seen a parrot. I found my last parrot on like, what was it, turn like 8 or something? <laughs> it's forever ago. It was before I found the leopard. 
Okay. Great stream idea. Banning people who beat me, but if you win <laughs> the lobby, you get mod. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. You're 100% gonna watch the stream back to see your reaction to that slot. I can't remember what it was, actually. No, they sniped him! At least I don't die. I'll take a draw. Show me more melons, though. And I'm, a, I'm not buying this until I have the level up ready. Oh. Alright, which do I level, then? You, because you're the largest. I will need to rearrange if I do that. But... What am I doing? I can't level it. That's already level 2. Ah. Okay, well, I still need to do this, because otherwise they're going to be the same attack, and that's a problem. So, buy chocolate for this. If I die because of this, I'm going to be so upset. I could have had an extra snipe. It would have only been, like, you know, 10 damage or something, but... If that's the difference... Oh, that's going to hurt. Does Sloth have an ability? He has no special ability. But he believes in you. I didn't get to actually read the rest. <laughs> it ended too fast. And this is a very large team. I think I die. Yes. <laughs> yes, I died to a clone. That was the cat team. I remember the name. Alright, well. <laughs> Look, any run with a sloth is a good run. And it actually made it pretty far, too. <laughs> Ban him now. I won't. I won't. This is his lobby. Like, he actually had the perfect run, so I'm not going to attack him for that. Uh, I'm just happy to find one. It it has been so long. Okay, good run, good run. Uh, next one, wait. Oh no, I, I never actually wrote that down. I was going to cross it off the list, but I didn't have the <laughs> list anyway. And, yes, insta-filled, okay. <laughs> Alright, oh, good start. Everyone, welcome! We are doing Ants Only. We have Ant, Doorhead Ant, and Fire Ant. They're not all on one side, so it's maybe a bit confusing. But yes, when you end your turns, only have those three things, please. Uh, you're allowed as many of each as you want, so if you want, you can have a like, full team of Fire Ants. That's all fine. But aside from that, same rules as always. All food is allowed, anything goes in the shop phase, and if you find a slot, it is allowed. And I already have two Ants, so it is perfect. Probably should have, should have bought and sold that possum, but... Oh. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful team. And we are the Milky Cakes. There were some good options there, though. I was pretty happy. What do you call a baby ant? Uh... I don't know. Got a sloth for next turn? Seriously? Oh, dude. We've had so many sloths today. Like, what is it? Second lobby, there were three, at least three sloths in the one lobby. Last uh, lobby, I got a sloth. It's like, damn. Okay, let's get one of these. Why sell this? Uh, I don't know if it matters which one I buff. I'm just going to throw it on this one. I'd rather not buy an otter, so... Yeah, let's just get another one of these. I think it's fine where everything is, really. Hmm, I wonder how I'm going to pivot away from these, though. Because they're, they're easy to pill, but I feel like I'm going to end up stacking way too many stats on them, and then it's just going to be <laughs> impossible to not have at least one regular ant and one doorhead ant or something. Uh, I could freeze a meat bone. If I find a regular doorhead ant, then that's a pretty good thing for it. Give me a tiny doorhead ant. No. Alright, I'll buy this because it's here. Hmm. I guess I should just buy something this turn instead of hard rolling for no reason. And uh, yeah, let's just like, run something like this. I'm going to leave the pill. I'd like to pill something eventually, but definitely not at this stage. I'm not pilling ants to get stats onto my other ants. Regular ants, anyway. I'd do it for the other ones later. There he is, Hendrik. Congratulations. The proud, proud carer of the sloth. I lost it. There it is. <laughs> I wanted to have a quick like browse through everything to see if there was a second one or something. But very nice, very nice. Hmm. Well, those are uncomfortable trades. Why couldn't I find a door head ant? No. Just roll it. Roll it by <laughs> by the regular ant. Maybe should have just like pilled a flamingo there, actually. There we go. Okay, so stack you into other large ants. Buy this. 
Doesn't really matter where it is, as long as it's not right at the front. And then, yeah, I guess give this a meat bone next turn, and then I can try and, like, buy sell owls, maybe pill blobfish. Wouldn't mind. Although, if I'm going to stack loads of stats on here, I should probably, um... I don't know, give it garlic, maybe? What do you call a helper ant? An assist ant. Yes, yes. Very good. Oh, I missed the old one as well. Infant. Ah. Love the VODs might try to join next game. Oh, we'd love to have you. Again, the games do fill up very quickly, but we are running a second lobby. I think this one's also started, but... Yeah. <laughs> there is room for all. Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of that, I think. Kind of want to do this, but I'd rather not do it until tier 5, because it has both the ant that I want and a load of good buy cells. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's hold off on that. Uh, oh, wait. <laughs> I wanted to... Uh, I'd have to, like, sell something. I wanted to do that while I had the clownfish, but... Yeah, you know what? Just do this. Buy us all that. Pill this... Hmm. Put it onto there. Put it onto there. Buy an avocado. Freeze fish. I don't actually know if it'd be worth it or not, but I kind of wanted to do it. Isn't antelope in the game? It is, but it's not in this lobby. This is specifically ants, not um things that have ant in the name. We did a poll before the, <laughs> the game started, and this is what barely won. Damn, close, close fights. Okay, so I could buy this and then try and roll to find another ant and, I don't know, just slap them together if I really want, but... I don't know, I have so much gold. I'm gonna wait. I will definitely pull another one of these. I'll not be by selling marmosets. Avocado is nice. Uh, blobfish pill, pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna buy this. Can pill that on something next turn. I actually don't know what I'd put it on. Like, maybe i just do it for a level up on one of these. If I really want, I can do it on both. Like, I can stack that on there and then blobfish the other one. Two chances to find something nice. We should do Ant in the name next. I probably wouldn't do both of them in the same day, unless there's a, you know, an Ant theme. National Ant Day, if that's a thing. There is a slot day, actually. Wait. Wait, when is slot day? I remember making a post about it ages ago, and I can't remember if it was like, you know, a couple of months ages ago, or if it was like a year ago and it's actually coming up. Oh, one attack short. You're the first person dead. Ah, rip. Sorry to hear that. Uh, yeah, just stack stats on there. Show me something nice. Please. Eagle. Can I pill that for anything good? Not really. <laughs> Alright. I could do this, but I don't know if I'd be able to get stuff. So I'm trusting this won't hit that one. And it didn't. Great. Uh, stats on there. I saw stoked. Also, not insane. I may buy a garlic for this turn instead of buying the avocado, but I can buy that next turn, maybe. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I guess my level 2 shouldn't be right at the back, but I can't really avoid a regular ant being at the back. Oh, and it's October 20th. Oh, that's too long. That's too long. If it was like, if the stars were aligning and, uh... Actually, who knows? Maybe it'll take me that long to get to 50k subs. <laughs> Legitimately might. Oh well. We'll just do it whenever I get there anyway. National Ant Day is second Tuesday of September, I think. Ah. Of course. Sounds about right. Uh, yeah, we'll take a banana. We just need things on the team. Uh, I kind of want to combine these together, but even if I do, then... Hmm. I should be freezing turtles if I find any as well, actually. Okay, I'm just going to throw this on there. I'm going to avoid the clownfish, because even though I probably will end up combining all of my ants together, I I don't think I do it yet. I think I need to hard roll to find some fire ants before I worry about that. Lethal already. Oh, you're right. It's been a while since I had a look through here. Is the sloth okay? It is. All right, it's cool. I was worried. 
course I knew those days by heart. Wait, were you not joking when you said there was an ant day? That's actually hilarious. <laughs> Sloth at three hearts. It's more than I have. Although maybe he also got hit that turn. Anyway, we roll. We roll and we hope to find... I should probably buy pears, right? Hmm. I have a horrible feeling that Doorhead Ant actually isn't that good. Uh, look, just, just play it. Lemon, how big are people's teams? I'd rather find Melon. I'm just going to leave that, I think. Why oh, there's so many regular ants. Alright, I'm going to combine and lose the tier 6. I don't really care. Alright, but I'm leaving this one. We can't afford to have that thing around. And Fire Ant, excellent. Okay, to the back. To the back, next turn, I don't know what I'll be doing. Probably just, like, sell one of these, actually. <laughs> Joke about National Ant Day. This is... There's just no way. If it exists, it's got to be one of those things where it's, like, fan-made, you know? Like, there's, like, a ant fan club somewhere, and they petition to make it a real thing, and they let them do it just because it was too annoying to <laughs> do deal with them otherwise. Yeah, I don't know. I, I guess I keep it for the 1-1 buff. Might, might, might not actually end up combining these two, because I don't really get much out of it, so. Play this. I will move him forward soon. And this seems like enough of a reason just to, uh... Buy sell now. Do this one. Buy sell this just for the chocolate and then keep it frozen. And I might lose, but I'm leaving that. Another door hand ant. I don't think so. I think I leave that unleveled for now. I could worry about it later, but yeah. And look, these have, these things have like the same stats. These give six stats. This gives six stats. I think it's fine at the back. <laughs> I don't think it matters. Once this thing gets, like, bigger or leveled up... <gasps> there he was. I saw him. The Chosen One. The Mushroom Hat's cool. I think it's like my second time using it. There's a handful of hats that I just haven't used. But thank you. I'm glad you think so. Alright. I'm buffing these two. I might end up getting rid of the door head ants. Alright. Sell this again. Try and level this. Leave the salad bowl and try and find another ant. Steak is decent. Uh, what sort of teams are people running? Hmm. I actually don't love steak. <laughs> Put it on here, I guess. I will have the fire ant a little bit further forward now, but I think I should swap these around. Do it like this. <laughs> Killed the stop. Wait, they're not actually dead, are they? Hold on. Oh no. Oh no, I did! Hendrik, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were on 1 HP. I also don't think I actually, like, noticed that I beat you. I was just like, oh cool, that's soft pog, and then looked away. Don't worry, I'm, I'm getting my, my punishment too. I think my death is, like, around the corner. Alright. Give attack to two random friends. Uh, that means you have to be, like, at the front now. <laughs> Wait, maybe leveling these things isn't the best. Alright, buy sell this, and then get ready to explode. I don't know, freeze this to fill it, maybe. Freeze that for you as well. Pretty afraid for my team, honestly. <laughs> Kino. So if I kill someone else's sloth, I also have to get banned. Oh, is this the end? It actually survived a hit. It's not the end. It's actually a win. Alright, I win by a monkey. <laughs> you like orb that much? People do seem to enjoy the orb. Like, to a worrying degree. Nice hit. Uh, I guess this ant just isn't going anywhere. Alright. Buff these two. Leave the sushi. I'd rather find a pill, and I'd rather find, like, another ant. But yeah, same deal. Leave everything where it is. Hmm. I'm not freezing a blobfish. It would take way too much an investment for this thing to get to level 3. And right now, it wouldn't even do anything. And leveling the rest of this stuff just doesn't make a difference. Well, you know, it's not worth it compared to just buying stat food anyway. 
Like, this one at least scales. If it gets really big, then it can pass on attack, and, like, everything on your team can have 50 attack, but... Yeah, the rest of these, it doesn't get better with them. With time, so... I can't believe Kino killed a slot. It wasn't intentional. Aw, oh, I lost a pig. I'm dead. I'm dead by, like... Oh, actually, it's a bit more than one, but... <laughs> I thought it was going to be one attack. One HP. Well... Well, it was still a fun lobby. Alright, well... <laughs> GG's. Uh, sorry again about the, the whole slot thing, Henrik. Hendrik. Should have lost early for good crimes. I only drew, like, one round. Or won it, maybe. I can't remember. And I hope everyone's ready. I'll change my hat and background afterwards, maybe. But I don't know what I'd change them to. Honestly. Uh, but yes, we're in, everyone, welcome. Probably the final lobby of the day, but we're going to be doing level 2s and 3s only, or just no level 1s. So the idea is anything on your team has to be level 2 or higher, so you have to find like 3 of the same thing before you can play anything. Uh, aside from that, all the usual rules, you are allowed a sloth, all food is allowed, and anything goes in the shop phase, so... Go crazy, and also, if you didn't make it into this lobby, then we do have a second one going, thanks to Robodog, and that is, uh, LVL2. You can look in chat if you want to see the code yourself. But yeah. Wish everyone luck. And yeah, we're freezing these. Show me another one. Yes, okay, so I can buy these next turn. Good enough. And I will be the legendary chunks. Or boring chunks. That's probably more accurate. You almost didn't get in. I feel like anyone but me almost didn't get in. There's like a three second three second window to get that code in. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna buy this now, because even if I see a tier 3 by waiting a turn, I'd have to find two more of that same tier 3, so there's just no point. <laughs> so, Flamingo. Uh, I mean, there are worse ones to go for. I think a spider could be interesting, though. So I may go for that instead. Peacock would also be really good. Yeah, like, Peacock would be a problem, because I'd have to find... I don't know, it'd only buff one thing, so I'd be upset. Alright. Someone got a turn one level two pig, nice. Uh, yeah, please, sell that fish, do not keep it. Level two horse. But yeah, please, get rid of that fish, don't like, do stuff across turns, because that is cheating, and there's too much of a benefit to cheat one turn, and then actually, you know, benefit from being able to do it across two turns, because it's a lot easier that way. Uh, I mean, the mosquito's probably not going anywhere. I could stack that and then look for my spider level up. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I should have just been buy selling altars and wait for a tier 3. I'm gonna do that instead, I think. <laughs> I literally just like a complete wasted turn. Lost against the pig. Yeah, I am sorry about that. It's kind of rough lo like, um, losing on the first turn. Well, you know. Losing to early stuff, like, it's, it's spooky. Like, was this the fish? I can't remember who it was now, but yeah, it is cheating. Do not cheat just to make it easy. It's me, but slightly smaller. Not that it made a difference. Alright, we buff. Buff the lad. Yes. Larger, and then I can give him garlic or something later. Uh, yeah, sure, go for the level three. Why not? I'm basically gonna be running this as a solo thing for a long time, I think. Like, there's good stuff at tier three, but I don't know. It, it takes a lot to get a combo, and it gets even harder the later in the game you get. Barring chocolates, chocolate makes it a lot easier, but yeah, if you're trying to find like a combo for tier fours, then you have to find three of the same thing with all of these things available and no chocolates, so yeah, a bit spooky. Eight left in the ant lobby. Damn, I died. <laughs> I died way too early. Okay. I was thinking about changing my hat and background, but like, the longer I leave it, the worse it is, so I think I just leave it. I think we just stay with this. It's a nice combo already. Like, I never use this hat or background, so why not? Alright, so oh, we can go for sheep. Uh... I actually do want to buy salad bowls, but only once I have another thing, so I need to find garlic before then. So yeah, we're looking for garlic. 
Uh, another mosquito and another sheep. That is all I want. Just happy with your pig boar lobby when after months of not doing beer lobbies. Yes, you should feel very proud. Hmm. Oh, no. Single massive otter. Okay. Oh, it's so sad having to stack otters when there's like nothing to buff. I think a ton of mosquitoes around. Oh, level 2 peacock. Very nice pull. See, I was thinking about going for ducks earlier, but then I thought, like, it would be so hard to actually afford to sell it that I probably wouldn't get any value out of it for a long time. Oh, no. Perfect lethal. Why? If I had, like, one more HP. <laughs> Alright. Keep going. Uh... No, no, it's, it's two gold for a 1-1. One, one. Like, it's an otter, but I need to find my sheep, and this is the best time to look for it. All this. Yeah, I actually do this now. Again, there's no point waiting, so <laughs> let's just do that. Do I unfreeze my sheep? Do I look for tier 4s now? I might, yeah. I feel like the sheep level up is it's both not that lightly to show up, and I just don't care too much. It's when I get spider that turned into a sheep to be, yeah. It's a classic. Same as when Spider used to summon turtles and just ruins people's day. Oh yeah, big, big garlic mosquitoes destroys all. Alright. Ah, sure, I can go with the roosters. Parrot's interesting because you can use it with like anything. But roosters just solid and you know what, I'll buy some cans. Squirrel's also fine. Hmm. I don't know whether I just wait with this one mosquito until like tier 5 and up and then I try and level things up with chocolate. <laughs> I don't know what to do. If I spend all my time just rolling for a new thing and don't find it, then I'm just going to end up dead in no time. That <laughs> coward opponent not putting elephant in the front. Hey, it's fine. Maybe that's why I lost. Dude, someone has elephant blowfish already. How <laughs> do they have three things? Oh god. I'd stand no chance against that. Yeah, there's like a ton of filled out teams now. <laughs> level 3 pig. What's the theme thingy? Uh, basically no level 1s. Everything has to be level 2 or higher. And we're just using the regular turtle pack at the moment. Alright. Anything? Skunk's kind of interesting. Kind of. <laughs> It'd still be very difficult to use. Ah, get rid of it. Get out of here. And I'm leaving the pair. I need to find chocolate next turn. Chocolate and, like, monkeys or seals or something. Not that seals would be great, because, you know, I'd only have one other thing on my team, but... Yeah. If I could get scaling, that would be huge. If I can get, like, good snipes or maybe a turkey. Turkey would be very nice if I could then find other things. And someone has a sloth? Are you joking? There's no way we've had, like, ten sloths in the lobbies today. Where? Is that a ram? I think I saw it at the bottom there, but is someone just running a ram? That's actually kind of big brain. Someone like bought <laughs> two sheep and pilled them or something. Just they so they could combine rams. I like it. Yeah, leave the pair. I could be buffing this, but no. And yeah, leave the seal as well. No shark. Scorpion? Like, Scorpion could be fine. I'll freeze that. I think this is kind of worth doing. I could have had a, a squirrel by now if I wanted. Alright, let's find that um, sloth again. Assuming they're not dead. I don't think they were that far down, so I don't think they'd be dead. And then I'll have another look. That is a ram, though. Okay. There he is. Kids, congratulations! You are now on 1 HP with a single fish, but <laughs> I'll wish you luck anyway. How many? Does anyone know how many sloths we've seen today? Like, this has to be one of the biggest sloth days I've seen. That will do scope amazing. Like, it's just a decent trade, okay? And here's the ram, yeah. It's not good for scaling, and if I find a monkey, I might unfreeze it again, but I need, I need something. Can I find chocolate, please? One chocolate, sir? Anything? Be prepared to ban Kino. Mm. 
me. Oh, I don't think I can kill the sloth. Somebody already did it. Oh, and they had a level 2 bison as well. They could have been okay. If they had, like, two more HP or something, they would have been fine. Like, the scaling there would have just crushed. I did see someone with a monkey up here, I think. I know there's a dead person with a monkey as well, but I think I saw one. Oh, maybe not. Level 2 cow's kind of interesting, though. I can't take a leopard next turn. Ah, no. Ah, kind of close fight. As in, I might have been able to draw, but... <laughs> Not really. Oh, dude, I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to like unfreeze. No, just hold, <laughs> hold the ground. Okay, look, I can do this next turn then. And then anything else worth taking? No. There's no point going for a tiger until I have better things. You're raging because of sap. Uh, you shouldn't. Sap is a wonderful calming game. Except for this. I'd rage if I saw this. <laughs> Actually terrifying. They're not that big yet, but... How come I still have nothing? Look, even they have a scorpion. I'm out here with my one tiny mosquito, and everyone else is running like four squads. <laughs> with synergy. Chocolate makes this so much uh, better. It does, yeah. I'm glad I can find it back. <laughs> Look, I'm going against a full squad. They have a monkey. I didn't kill anything. Damn. Okay. Well, there we go. I have a thing. Welcome to the squad. Hide at the back. Uh, fly isn't insane. I may roll past it. Dragon is also not insane. Uh, I don't know. It'd be scaling two things. But then I wouldn't be able to get a fourth thing, and that would kind of suck. Yeah, I need to leave that. I need to find, like, a black cat. I think that's my only out. I need to find a black cat and some chocolate to level it, and then I need to hope to not die in that time. Found your reviews on Steam. The sap one was great. Oh, I forgot I made some reviews. Like, super early days, I thought I was going to make, like, a review YouTube channel. Or, like, try to, anyway. But yeah, I made, like, eight reviews or something, and then I was like, this is pointless. <laughs> and then never went back. Ouch. Okay. Alright, one HP. 1 HP, can I do anything? Freeze monkey, I guess. <laughs> I can stack it. I could pill my turtle onto the scorpion. Genius. Genius, that could be it. I can't. Not with chocolate frozen. Alright. Well. It was a good run. In that I was definitely going to die all along. I <laughs> look at these teams. Someone has, like, full summon scum. Alright, let's have a proper look through. I have, like, 20 seconds, so. Very impressive large pig, level 3 deer here. It's monkey scaling, monkey scaling. Elephant blowfish. And cat scaling. Very good. Monkey scaling. Seal scaling. With, like, middle elephants. And then the game actually started earlier than I thought. They killed it. I would have definitely lost anyway, but they... Start of combat sniped my guy. Okay, well. <laughs> well, that was an experience. I think we come back to that sometime.